Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of system of equations, we'll be solving one system of equation log x base 225 plus log y base 264 equal to 4 log 225 base x minus log 64 base y equal to 1. This is logarithmic system of equation or you can say logarithmic equation. So properties of log you will see. Let's get started. I will write quickly. Let me write the property which I will use here. B log A. Power will come down. This is property number 1. Property number 2. Log A base B. I will write 1 over log B base A. Okay. And C. I will use both the properties right now. So equation 1. I can write log x base is 225 so I can write 15 square plus log y I will write 8 square equal to 4 okay so by the property this power will come down so I can write this as log x base 15 let me take half common out plus log y base 8 equal to 4 in other words log x base 15 plus log y base 8 equal to 8 this is our first equation similarly second equation see how it will be second equation i can write 15 a square base x plus minus log 8 square y equal to 1. Now power will come down from the property number 1. So I will write direct I can write 15 base x minus log 8 base y equal to half. Okay. This is my equation number 2. Now I am going to give substitution. Straight away substitution. Let's consider log 15 base x as a. So this I am going to consider b. Now see what will happen here. It would be 1 over a. And this would be 1 over b. You can see. So let me convert in equation form. So I will write a minus b equal to half. This is our equation number 1 which is from here. Okay. Now second equation I will write equation number 2 1 over a plus 1 over b equal to 8. Two equations, two unknown you will find out. One important thing you can see the system of equation it is involving means logarithmic is there. So, x and y both must be positive. This is the necessary condition. Log is there. Log cannot be negative. Log x, x cannot be negative. Okay. From equation 1, I can write b. Let me consider equation number 2 as multiply both sides by ab. So, equation will convert into a plus b equal to a to b. Okay, now from 1 we can consider b equal to a minus half. Now I am going to substitute this value into the equation a plus b equal to a to b. So a plus a minus half a plus b is done equal to 8a b is a minus half. There are many ways to solve it. So 2a minus half is equal to 8a square minus 4a. Take all the terms towards right. Quadratic equation will form 8a square minus 6a minus half plus half equal to 0. Okay. This will be our quadratic equation. 
Now I have to solve this equation. Let's multiply this equation by 2 first. So 16a square minus 12a plus 1 equal to 0. Let me write here minus 12a plus 1 equal to 0. It is quadratic equation, so we will apply quadratic formula. Let me apply directly minus b, so 12 plus minus square root b square 144 minus 64 over 32. Then 12 plus minus it is 60, uh, 80 divided by 32. Now 80 I can see as 16 fives are so 4 root 5. So let me write 12 plus minus 4 root 5 over 32 I can write. Now easily I will divide numerator denominator by 4. B was see this is A after dividing numerator denominator by 4 you will get 3 plus minus root 5 over 8. So B was A minus half. So I will put A value here. 3 plus minus root 5 over 8 minus half. So it is 4 over 8. So that value will be equal to minus 1 plus minus root 5 over 8. So A is 3 plus minus root 5 over 8 and B is negative 1 plus minus root 5 over 8. Now you can see what was our x value. So x value was, so let's write the value of a first, it was log 15 base x and b was log 8 base y. This is what we know. Now if I will convert into exponent form, then x power will come out. So better is to consider 1 over a. What I am saying? I will write 1 over a. So I will write here log x base 15 value. That would be 8 over 3 plus minus square root 5. Similarly, this reciprocal I will write log y base 8. That would be equal to 8 over negative 1 plus minus root 5. Now clearly we can find out x and y well. In exponent form I can write x is equal to 15 power 8 over 3 plus minus root 5. Okay. From this equation you can write x is equal to 15 power 8 over 3 plus minus root 5. Similarly y from this equation we can conclude the value of y that is now let's verify the values. Let me write x is equal to 15 power 8 over 3 plus minus root 5. Similarly, y can be written as 8 power 8 over negative 1 plus minus root 5. Okay, this is x and y value. And our equation number 1 was, it is right now in front of you. I am talking about in base 15. So I can write x base 15 plus log y base 8 equal to 8. You can put here also, no problem. It will give you only multiple numbers, means multiple of values. Okay, let me put the first case x is equal to with plus sign. So once I will write here x log x. So let me write log 15 with plus value 3 plus root 5 over log 15 it was base log y so log y is 8 power 8 negative 1 plus root 5 and negative you can check by your own 8 now i will use the property it will come down and log 8 over log 8, log 15 over log 15 would be 1. So only need to verify 8 over 3 plus root 5 plus 8 over 
negative 1 plus root 5. It should come out 8. Then our answer will be verified. Okay, let's take, let me take 8 outside. So what is left? 1 over 3 root 5 plus 1 over negative 1 plus root 5. So this value will come out. If I will take LCM, then this will be minus 3. 3 root 5 minus root 5. So 2 root 5. Root 5 times root 5, 5. In numerator, it will become negative 1 plus root 5 plus 3 plus root 5. Okay. Now you can see what is coming out. 8, 2 plus 2 root 5 over 2 plus 2 root 5. Check this out. So I will cancel both the brackets. It is coming out. Alright. Similarly for second value. For this value set. X is equal to 15 power 8 over 3 minus root 5. And y equal to 8 power 8 over negative 1 minus root 5. You will verify simply putting in the. Equation number 1 or it's converted from log x base 15 plus log y base 8 equal to 8. Same way you will get verified. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.